some ladies find it very difficult to get pregnant due to ovulation problems, meaning they don't ovulate. Why others may find it very hard getting pregnant due to other things, which means they might ovulate, but yet they may have fallopian tube blockage. Their partner may have issues with their sperm cells. Ovulation problems is when you find it difficult to ovulate. And for us to understand ovulation problems, we need to first of all understand a little bit about ovulation, which is the release of an egg from the ovary into the fallopian tube for fertilization to occur. Because the aim of ovulation is for fertilization to occur. Now, the ovaries can release one egg each within a month, meaning if your two ovaries each releases an egg, then it is possible for you to have twins. There are also situations in which one of your ovaries might release an egg, then after fertilization, that egg splits into two to also give twins. In the first scenario, which two different ovaries releases egg and you have twins, those children will be non-identical twins. Why in the second scenario, in which just one ovary releases an egg and after fertilization that egg splits into two, that will be identical twin. Like in the case of Ingwari or Angwe. If you are from Mogamo, you will understand that's maybe two females. What are some of those symptoms which if you have, you can probably say, oh, it is possible that I could ovulate. We have one. You might have some slight headache around your mid-cycle because ovulation occurs generally around the mid-cycle. We are not saying ovulation always occurs at that time. Another is when there is an increase in your basal body temperature. You know, you can touch a lady and she feels hot while she is not sick. Another is also dizziness. Thus, you're feeling tired and sleepy as well. This symptom is also related to pregnancy symptom. Another is breast tenderness. And also there's also an increase in the size of that breast. And this is also linked to menstruation. It's linked to pregnancy as well. Meaning some of these symptoms is also like pregnancy symptoms. Another is increase in sex drive. You have an increase in the appetite to eat warm plantain, the night plantain. Another is when you have light cramps in the left side of your lower abdomen or the right side of your lower abdomen, which we call pain by the side of your lower abdomen. Then we also have abdominal blotting. It's also a symptom of ovulation. You could have that. We also have heightened sense of smell, taste. And also you might have issues with like vision. And in some situation, you eat a lot. <laughs> Another is when you have this stretchy cervical mucus. You know, the stretches of vacuum because this is certainly the best symptom of ovulation, which most ladies can easily spot it out. So let me know in the comment section, how many of these symptoms do you experience? Now, if you don't experience any, the risk or probability that you might be at risk of ovulation problems, which means 
you might not be ovulating. Here are some of the risk factors, which if you have some of these risk factors, it could indicate that mm, there's a probability that you might not ovulate. We have one, when you are underweight or you're overweight. So if you're underweight, you might not ovulate. It might increase the risk of you not ovulating or you're overweight. When you're also experiencing experiencing high level of stress. I think with stress, we have really talked this a whole lot and have in, insisted that as ladies, let us try our best to reduce stress. Another is when you have issues with thyroid. So if you have thyroid problems, then there is a probability that you might not ovulate. When you abuse drugs, you abuse alcohol. Then you also have issues with issues like cyst, that's ovarian cyst, tumors, or other masses. These are all things that can make it harder for you to ovulate. If you have this, an increased risk that you might not be ovulating. Let me know in the chat as well, which of these risk do you currently have? I wish every lady the very best. If you are currently trying to get pregnant, make it make it much more easier for you. Please don't forget to share. Don't forget to follow. We are going to break this down on our YouTube channel. So do it to go to YouTube right now. You search Women's Health Forum. We're going to do longer videos there so that we can explain all of this. Especially ladies struggling to calculate their cycle. We've done a lot of videos on our YouTube channel. Please visit Women's Health Forum on YouTube and you watch our videos. Don't forget to share this. Don't forget to follow if interested in a fertility follow-up, you book for a session, send me an inbox that you want to book for a session. You'll need to pay some money to book for that session. If you are in Bamenda, Cameroon, I am at way in Quen Kefiro building. Thank you so much. Do have a beautiful time.